Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer. This is our chance to pause, to take a breath, to remind ourselves that God is present with us and to gather up all the worries and concerns, thoughts, joys, sorrows and offer them to God in prayer. To remind ourselves of God's presence with us, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to be still. We're going to invite God's Holy Spirit to come. And then as a visual reminder, we're going to light this candle to show a sign to us that God is present with us. So let's do that. Let's be still. Holy Spirit, come. Make us aware of your presence with us. We light this candle as a sign that Jesus, the light of the world, is with us. Lord, as we enter into this time, set aside to be with you. We ask God that you would gather together our scattered thoughts. Restore to us your perspective. Fill us again with your life. Amen. Tonight we're going to be reading Psalm 38. So if you haven't done so already, get a copy of the Psalms or open up your Bible app at Psalm 38. I'll be in the NIV tonight. And this is a really helpful progression from where we've been because they've been appropriately for now. They've been these amazing Psalms uh, about justice, about uh, shining a light on wickedness, uh, calling out for, for God to act on behalf of the oppressed. But as it's shining a light on wickedness, there's always been that little note, even just a very, very uh, a couple of words nod towards the wickedness of the writer's own heart. And that's really important. It's really important in this, in this really significant cultural moment that we're living through. That as we identify um, real wickedness, individual wickedness, um, systemic evil and oppression, as we're shining a light on all that stuff as we should, uh, that we're also shining a light into our own hearts um, to see uh, where the problems are there, the things that God wants to work on uh, and the things that we need to confess. And so this psalm is all about that. Um, there's nothing here of David crying out to God about how righteous he is compared to those other wicked ones over there. David is completely honest here about his own brokenness, about his own mistakes. Uh, he's suffering, seems to be suffering physically. Either that's poetry or maybe he's actually going through a, a period of, of illness. Um, but he talks about um, his, uh, his error, his wrongdoing, his wickedness. He's waiting for God to... Um, to rescue him. So we're just going to read that together. Um, and we're going to ask that God be close to us as we do this. That we would use these words uh, that David wrote to express his heart. To express something of what's going on in our own hearts. To cry to God to help in 
difficult circumstances. And then we're going to jump off into, uh, into prayer for ourselves, for our neighbours, for our world. So let's pray as we read together. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Your arrows have pierced me and your hand has come down on me. Because of your wrath, there's no health in my body. There's no soundness in my bones because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I'm bowed down and brought very low all day long. I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There's no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. All my longings lie open before you, God. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me. Even the light's gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbours stay far away. Those who want to kill me set their traps. Those who would harm me talk of my ruin. All day long they scheme and lie. I'm like the deaf who cannot hear. Like the mute who cannot speak. I've become like one who does not hear. Whose mouth can offer no reply. Lord I wait for you. You will answer Lord my God. For I said, do not let them gloat or exalt themselves over me when my feet slip. For I am about to fall. And my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I am troubled by my sin. Many have become my enemies without cause. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. Those who repay my good with evil lodge accusations against me. Though I seek only to do what is good. Lord, do not forsake me. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly to help me. My Lord. And my saviour. So Lord we just want to give you thanks for these words. Which give voice to a deep cry of the human heart. Lord we thank you that you are merciful. That you are forgiving God. But Lord, when we live with unforgiveness, when we live with unconfessed sin, when we live not acknowledging our own brokenness and rebelliousness and our need of you, God, we find ourselves in this this place of real suffering. So we pray for ourselves, for our own hearts and for those who we know. That we would all turn to you. And be saved. Lord if there's anything in the depths of us that. We've tried to hide from you. Tried to hide from ourselves. Tried to hide from others. And we just need to confess it. Lord we bring it to you now. And Lord, not just for ourselves, but for our neighbours, God, we all maybe know people who 
uh, who live with terrible guilt because of decisions that they've made, because of actions that they've taken, but for whatever reason, because of upbringing or a personality or pride or whatever, it doesn't matter, Lord, they cannot bring themselves to admit guilt. They cannot bring themselves to, um, to confession. And so, Lord, we just want to cry out for them, Lord, that they will come to that point where they know they can come before a good God, a good Father, and confess. And that they'll be met with forgiveness. They'll be met with a clean slate. They'll be met with a fresh start. We pray this for our world too, Lord. Our world which is seeing so much suffering. A world where it looks like we're beginning to open our eyes to some of our uh, collective sins. Some of the things that have that have caused our pain. David says, there's no soundness in my bones because of my sin. Lord, we're starting to see some of the things that are consequences of our actions. So Lord, uh, collectively, we confess. We've not cared for your creation. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. We confess, Lord. And so, God, we pray that you would come as our saviour, rescue us from these circumstances, rescue us from this suffering. In Jesus' name. We're going to join together in, in prayer as we pray these words. O High King of Heaven, have mercy on our land. Revive your church and send your Holy Spirit for the sake of the lost, the least and the broken. May your kingdom come to our nation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Grace and peace be with you.